Hi, good morning, everybody. I want to show you how I use the North American Herb and Spice Oregano P73 on a daily basis. I have certain like top of the line products that I absolutely love. And this is definitely one of them. This is, I use it daily. So I'm just going to show you ideas uh, to make you comfortable with it. First of all, it's the best oregano uh, around. And you know, there's about 80 different species of oregano. So, and some are really thyme or sage or margarine. They're not really oregano. This oregano, and some of them have GMOs, and you gotta realize that um, oregano, wild oregano, which is what this is, compared to cultivated or garden ore oregano is day and night. And I understand that from the point of view of food with uh, blueberries. From a medicinal point of view, wild blueberries and cultivated blueberries, day and night. A wild blueberry will come back. If there's a fire, it'll come back on its own. You'll not have that with cultivated. So think about that. So the you want that bounce back product, you know, or, or herb. You want that, that bounce back. And that's what you get with wild compared to, uh, compared to a cultivated. So um, it's cultivated in the, in the mountains of the Mediterranean up to 12,000 feet. It's 200 villages who um, gather this wild, um, wild oregano that grows on rocks and stuff. So it's amazing. You know, it, it takes 200 pounds of oregano just to make, uh, to make two pounds of the oil. 200 pounds to two pounds. So it's very, very um, concentrated. It's steam distilled. Practices are clean. That's important to me. So what I do on a daily basis is I start my uh, morning and I haven't had my green smoothie yet. I've been waiting to do this. And one of the, one of the products I love, which is their zinc. And um, a lot of zincs come out of China. This sink is an Austrian, from Austrian uh, pumpkin seeds. And you remember, you can go back, you remember pumpkin seeds in my dry roasted pumpkin seed video? How I talk, it's, it's high in zinc. So this is lovely. You can put this in whatever you're eating. If you're eating a dairy-free yogurt, or like me, I just put it right in my green smoothie. There we go. It's in my green smoothie. I'll mix it up. It has a I really like the taste. It's a nice taste. So I'll have that later, but that's an example of how I use the zinc. You can um, sprinkle it on anything. Um, it's just lovely. I'm thinking I might even sprinkle a little bit of that on a salad too. So we have the zinc, which I use daily. The other thing I use daily, and I've got it right here, I'm ready to go, is my morning green tea. And I literally take, there is, uh, you always want to look for the oregano P73. There's been so much research and study done on this. And that's the, definitely the official one you want to go with. Um, so what I would do, you have the, the regular oregano uh, oil. And I personally, it, all, all the products come also in gel caps. Like they come so that people who are very sensitive to taste, they can just take it in a gel cap. And now they've got gummies. So I know a lot of people, and their gummies are clean. Okay, because a lot of gummies have sugar and stuff. This, they have yucca syrup in theirs and um, really probably the cleanest gummies around. I know gummies are easy and, and it's for people. So just know they have the gummies for the oregano. So what I do is uh, I would go to work. I'd have my green tea going to work and I would put three, two to three drops right away in my green tea and just that was the way I had it. Then, uh, but now, now they have this super strength oregano, which of course grabbed my attention immediately. And um, it's 285 times stronger 
and they're the only company that have this that can that have the rights to do this it's safe uh you can take it <clears throat> the big thing is this is the only oregano that i know that you can take internally every day every day every day every day for your life and um it, there's it's totally safe babies it's totally safe for so what I do with this is just literally put a couple of drops in, just like that. This goes a long way. You need to know when you're using drops, oh my, this lasts a long time. So now I have my green tea. Uh, I will also, during the day, uh, when I'm out and about, you have the spray. This is really neat. You have big size, small size. So the smaller size is what I... I was on the road all day yesterday, and I always, always have the oregano spray in the car. I always have a bottle of it in the car, no matter what. So, um, I when I go out and about, do something real simple. I just spray around me, create my own little cocoon. This is antiviral, antibacterial, anti-fungi, and, and, you know, North America, because we eat so much sugar, it's a very fungus country so um i just spray that around me uh when i was working as a buyer at a store when i went in in the morning my area i would spray my area spray it up to the ceiling and just let it settle set around the cash and anywhere where i was gonna be i sprayed also i had a lot of body workers coming in and before they had clients they would spray the room spray it up and let it settle in the room before the clients came in also, for a mask, when you're wearing a mask, you want to make that a mask as efficient, at least I did. I want to make it as efficient as possible. Before I put the mask on, I'd spray the inside of the mask, then I'd let it dry for a minute, and I'd put it on. And that, like, up things big time. This is, the research on this is so huge. So, I will, and then, with people with sensitivities, you know, they're just, uh, it's strong, you know, um, I know a nurse who would spray this into her mouth five times. I like the herb, but some people are sensitive. So we have a children's one, which is same, very fine. Just spray it in. It's got a nice little taste to it. Cinnamon and so kids and the kids, there's an oil for kids too. With that just the cinnamon so it's a, just a, a mild or easier taste um so i'll tell you a story <laughs> i was in 2020 in ecuador my brother had taken me to ecuador for a vacation and i got there and uh within about a week now i was doing prep of a couple of drops of the oregano oil uh in my water or my tea morning and night I was doing I was doing the Orego rest which is um, a really good product for your lungs really um, really uh, much even stronger I mean you can't go wrong with any of these products but these are the ones I use on a regular basis so I'm there about a week up in the mountains having enjoying it totally and um, I when we when we got back to keto uh, one day I started with a dry cough and then now usually I don't ever get sick no colds or flus or anything so I got this dry cough then I had a bit of a fever then um, but I'm taking my oregano now I'm upping my oregano upping my oregano and um, then I started having this lots of mucus coming out like for a couple of days and then it went into my lungs and uh, I had the dry cough, well, not the dry cough, then it got one of those breaking coughs. I had that for probably about a month. But I literally, what I love about oregano, it is, it's, um, uh, it literally liquefies your mucus, so it can't solidify in your chest. So it, that's what was good. It was getting everything out of me. I literally would take my water bottle and I would, Take a whole dropper full. You know, what, what would be a dropper full? Like that. And I would put the whole thing in the water bottle. Drink it and do it again. I mean, I was taking a lot of oregano. But I was fine. 
I mean, I just, uh, it all passed through me and, um, and I was fine and I've been fine. So, and that was in March of 2020. So, uh, I would never think of traveling without, uh, both of these, the spray and the liquid. Uh, I mean, I like the liquid because it's more versatile. Now you can um, rub it on the bottom of your feet because the pores of your feet are absorb more, they're bigger. You can, um, I get bug bites. If I get a bug bite or anything, I just take a bit and put it on my skin and rub it on my skin, gone, the itching gone. Spray my dog against like when we go out walking in the woods against ticks. And so I really, I use it on a daily basis. Also the juice. I'll just take, uh, especially when I was out in public a lot, I would take a tablespoon of this every day. Uh, you can dilute it in water. I don't mind the taste, but I do I dilute it in water. Oregano is beneficial for you name it. Now I wanna uh, mention something, different uses also, winter's coming on. So I always have a humidifier because the air gets so dry. And every time I filled my humidifier, which was usually once a day, I would put one or two drops of the oregano. So it would diffuse throughout the whole uh, house. And whoever was there got to have the benefits of the, you know, uh, fighting bacteria and viruses and moles and funguses. You can use this in your kitchen <clears throat> as a cleaner. You can put uh, drops of it in your, a drop of sham in your shampoo or your conditioner. You name it, you can put a couple of drops in. I, the, the another daily basis is washing my vegetables. So I usually put, I have a big uh, stainless steel bowl and I put my vegetables in it and then I rinse them off. And I always put at least a drop, if not two, in that water. So that is, you don't have to buy anything else. You know, like they have these commercial vegetables cleaners. I've never found one that I'd want to use with my daughter, you know, when she was alive. <clears throat> Oregano, I would. The other thing I missed out on was my daughter, I always would spend the last hour before bed massaging her feet and her back, but I didn't know about the oregano oil then. I would have been massaging her feet with put a couple of drops on each foot and I would have been massaging that in and down her spine for sure. That's a great, uh, with babies, that's a great way to go. Um, so I do, that's the daily that I can think of right now. Um, and I always, it's just interesting because I was on the road all day yesterday and I had my oregano oil. I had, I had, had it in my water bottle and I had the spray on me. So uh, before I went in anywhere, I could spray around me. Um, I have sent it to uh, my family members, especially during the winter months, you know, to use. And one thing that's interesting with the oregano, you know, it works against allergies. Now I have a family member who is extremely allergic to scents and smells and and uh, even certain lavenders. So, I mean, she is so extreme that she could literally go unconscious with her allergies and has one time did. So uh, I got her to put oregano in a diffuser in her house. She was absolutely fine. So uh, the lavender in it has, has to be superior quality because my sister would have reacted for sure. So, um, you know, that was great for me to see as a test. I love this product. I don't go anywhere without the oil and the spray. Literally, I have those in my bag or in my car. Uh, it's a great prevention for, you know, cold and flu and, you know, the viruses, the colds and flus. I mean, there's 10 to the 31 viruses in the air at all times. So this is uh, Mother Earth given, you know, this isn't a chemical of any kind. This is Mother Earth given to us. At this time, we are so lucky to have, there's certain products that we are so lucky 
to know about and have the avail availability of. And I'm going to put the website uh, in the description so you can just go and check it out on your own and check out their story. And they'll also have store locators on that website. Um, so that's what I use. They have many other products, but I'm just telling you about what I personally use on a daily basis. I so appreciate your support and subscribing to my channel. Uh, it means so much to me. Please ask questions. I mean, I'll, I'll be answering them. I will get to your question, okay? Uh, sooner or later, but sooner. And uh, it's just nice to hear uh, what you're thinking. Ask me questions. Ask me questions, and uh, if if I can know it, know the answer, or find the answer, I'll get it for you. Okay.